All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the ongoing um, Israel-Palestine conflict. Obviously, uh, you know, typically the uh, Zionists, the Israelis are moving into uh, Rafa, uh, which is the last uh, town in Gaza. And uh, we'll talk about that tonight and the protests on campuses, uh, both locally and around the world. Stick around and listen. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the continuing uh, genocide of the Palestinian people um, by the Zionist evil. Um, you know, I mean, you, you, you might listen to that and think, hang on a minute, that's, that's actually what the far left is saying. What Richard just said is what the far left is saying. Correct. I uh, completely agree with the far left on the topic of Palestine. Um, I think that the Zionists are, are revolting. And uh, I know that this goes against, you know, what Fox News says, goes against, um, you know, what Breitbart says. And why would that be? Well, we all know why that is. It's because it's controlled by Jews, ladies and gentlemen, those news organizations. Uh, Rupert Murdoch is half Jewish, so he controls Fox. Uh, and his family, who he's passed it on to, so he's obviously you know, given them the right message to pass on. And Breitbart is also controlled by Zionists. So, uh, you know, that's why those news channels, uh, you know, and that's the whole issue of, um, you know, Zionism. And I, I call it the, I call it the globo Zio conspiracy, because you've got the globalists on the left, that whose agenda is essentially to destroy Western civilization, right? And to weaken Western nations, to flood us with mass immigration. And to, you know, fill us with, um, you know, to fill us with vaccines and to uh, make us all obey their totalitarian rules under, you know, to vaccine us or under, you know, medical emergencies, blah, blah. So that's all the globalist agenda. But on the right, you also have the, the Zionist agenda, right? So, and essentially they are both Jewish agendas because the globalists, while it, the globalists really are a group of people who are not, in just Jewish people, because there are people from all around the world who are globalists, but essentially the leadership structure within the globalists is essentially Jewish intellectuals and Jewish um, thinkers, you know, you know, Yuval Harari, uh, George Soros, people like this. And then you've got the Zionists who you don't really need to say that they're Jewish because they obviously are, because they are all about the Jewish uh, ethno state, the Jewish homeland of Israel. So, you know, essentially our politics is divided between the, uh, the, you know, essentially uh, the globalist side and the Zionist. And as you can see, both sides, uh, really no one in the world has any interest in the globalist agenda or the Zionist agenda. They are both false agendas and we should support neither of them because the globalist agenda is poison for our own countries and the Zionist agenda is essentially supporting, um, you know, uh, a genocidal um, ethno state in the Middle East and why are we doing that? What do we get out of it? Nothing. Is is Israel full of oil? Is Israel like Saudi Arabia or, you know, oil rich country? No, it isn't. We get nothing for it. So there's no reason we should support Israel. So we shouldn't. Um, and uh, I quite like the way that the far left, for example, in, uh, in Australia at the moment has copied uh, protests that are going on. And, um, you know, I think, a la the film June, I think uh, the Muslims could well be our friends, ladies and gentlemen, in this battle. And this is very important. You'll notice there's been a huge propaganda war since September 11, which was obviously done by Mossad, Saudi intelligence. There's been a kind of um, a alliance formed with Saudi Arabia and Israel that was just in the late 90s. So that's something we can go into in another episode. So you've got the Mossad, you've got Saudi intelligence, and you've got the US deep state. At the time, you know, around the time of September 11, you know, you had Paul Wolfowitz, um, you know, the Jewish, uh, I think he was, I don't know what he was, what, what, Secretary of State or something like that. I don't know his exact role. Uh, but, you know, he was uh, like an architect, a neocon architect of the whole September 11 operation. And obviously then the wars against Afghanistan, against uh, Iraq, uh, against Libya, essentially all the enemies of Israel. I mean, this is, again, something I've said on another report. You look at what's going on. America is being invaded from the southern border. Uh, and where is the U.S. military? all over the Middle East protecting Israel, ladies and gentlemen. So that's it. This is the agenda. You've got the globalists, you've got the Zionists. And, you know, the far left at the moment is very, very anti-Zionist. They can't believe what's going on. And they say that what's going on there is genocide. And it's true. If you look at what's going on, it's like, they say, of course, the, the right wing argument the Zionists use is, oh, there are terrorists in, um, in uh, Gaza, and we're going after them. You know, I mean, what? Are, how many are there? Maybe 100 terrorists, 200 terrorists? There probably are those there. But it's like saying there are 200 terrorists in Sydney. I'm sure there are. But what do we do? Do we destroy the entire city of Sydney? This is the logic. 
And there is not a country on earth that will get away with this, except for Israel. Russia could never get away with it. Could it say, oh, there are 200 anti-Russian terrorists in Kyiv and level the city? No, they, you know, they would, we would have all of Europe invading Russia, or you would have a nuclear war, ladies and gentlemen. So it's extraordinary what is going on. The left is sort of correct. I mean, I'm not quite as radical in their support of the Palestinians. I mean, I don't particularly love the Palestinians. I think, you know, uh, the whole area is a gigantic disaster. And, but you know, I think there's an interesting quote, you know, we have a lot of enemies in the Muslim world uh, uh, we, is, is the common question, but we never had any before the existence of the State of Israel, which if you remember only started existing after World War II. Before that, the Muslim world was quite friendly to us and uh, I imagine would be quite friendly still. We had a hand in the creation of Saudi Arabia. England has a lot of connections to many of the royal um, Arab you know, houses. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, I know there are uh, you know, moves to kick off the demonstrations at Melbourne University and uh, you know, at Deakin University, places like this, but I would stand in solidarity with these people. I think if people want to protest the genocide that's going on, um, against the Palestinian people, uh, th that's great. And I wouldn't believe a word uh, that comes out of um, the news sources like Fox News you know, and Breitbart on this topic. I mean, I do like these channels and other topics, don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen, but on this, they just can't be trusted because they're owned by you-know-who.